G'day folks, here's a little update uh, re the magnetic uncoupling system. Uh, you may notice that I've got six magnets here on top of the sleepers, they're painted black, they don't look too bad. Uh, you'll also notice that the two groups of three are offset. That's because the Backman couplings are off centre and I found that um, you get better pulling power and also a nice vertical stroke when the uh, hook is raised up if you have the magnets directly under the staple. This is the uh, sweet spot here or the centre obviously um, and from this angle you're probably noticing that uh, the magnets are a bit hard to see now uh, which is the idea, we don't want them too obvious but um, I think Toto mentioned some time back about using markers how do we uh, work out where the uncoupling spots are and um, I think it might be something that's worth looking into especially if you're operating from a couple of feet away it'll be very difficult to tell where the uncoupling spot is but it works very well speaking of staples, uh, this is what I'm using now this is uh, what they call um, a number 10 um, if that's in focus it's a much smaller staple than the 26 slash 6 do you like that one Tato? 26 slash 6 um, and you can see that the two together there's a considerable difference in their size and this one, the number 10, is what I'm using on the couplings now because all it requires is that um, um, when you peel one off you just bend one of these legs straight uh, and then I just um, put the right angle corner that's left over the jig and then bend it down to, what have I got it up to now? I think it's 55 degrees um, and because of the spring in the wire it comes back to 45 degrees when it's when I let it go um, and and these are a, a bit lighter in gauge than the other ones so they're, they're less obvious um, but the, these worked uh, really well um, but um, unfortunately they're, um, there's a bit more work in trimming them down to uh, use them on the on the coupling whereas this is fairly straightforward and works really well. Okay I'll just give you a little demo of the uh, what I'm talking about with um, in terms of the uh, uncoupling area sorry for sounding distracted but uh, it's difficult to do this through the camera now we'll just bring the wagon back very slowly and you can see how long you've got for uncoupling or what distance you've got for uncoupling we'll try that again that's the reason why it was done watch this one same thing so folks as far as I'm concerned that's the end of the story I know what I need to do now and uh, to set up the rest of the railway so that's it cheers Gormo